Well, I have my mower back in operation. Uh, no changes to it yet. Uh, just rewired from the fire that burned a few things uh, and hydraulic uh, reservoirs and lines. Uh, wasn't really a whole lot of work to do, but uh, took a long time to get around to doing it. And uh, anyway, I didn't do a very good job of documenting everything with video, but I will, uh, I did have a few shots and few few videos along the way. So this is kind of a quick, just throwing together a little compilation of those videos. Uh, hopefully you enjoy it, or at least uh, if not, well, that's what it is. So, and yeah, I do need a new hat. Uh, stick around to the end of the video and I'll have a short clip about what I'm working on now. I am working on the GPS y'all feature with a lot of help from others and um, kind of trying to just learn how it all works uh, before I really do much with my flight controller. But anyway, I'll get to that at the end. Thank you. Okay, I have the wiring completed from the control box running in these wire ways now uh, Running down and connecting to the various places where they connect the two servos and the power and ground and then the relay for the cutoff uh, Safety cutoff emergency cutoff Okay, the moment of truth, we're going to flip the power switch on and see what happens. Wrong switch. Woohoo! I like seeing that. Well, she's running. Crank right up. Quick test of the kill switch. I can hit kill the engine with with the emergency switch. I meant to switch it back on before it completely choked down. But anyway, that's operating nicely. The fire melted these hydraulic reservoirs for the uh, transaxles. One of them was melted. The other was just a little burned. But anyway, I replaced them both. And the uh, lines from there if you, the hydraulic lines it's really just all from there to the transaxle so um uh i've got a feeling i may end up having to bleed those before the more will run will move but we'll find out i, I free filled them a couple of weeks ago so it's been sitting so it's possible that gravity pulling down on the oil and maybe air's you know worked its way out i don't know we'll find out in a minute okay i backed it out manually with just I mean, sitting on the seat, driving it out. No problems with the hydraulics, so that's great. Everything, no, nothing to bleed. I drove it a little bit manual. It seems to be working well. That's just in manual right now. Okay, we're gonna switch to auto and see what happens. Well, it might not have switched. Let's see what we have over. Well, let's just chalk that last uh, bit up to operator error. Forgot which switches were which on my which channels on my remote, and now I have it in auto, and it's uh, tracking between waypoints out there now. Let's see if I can show you on the screen. Zoom back out. So we started close to waypoint one when I flipped to automatic. So she's trucking along to waypoint two. Let's see how well it does this right this left turn. Pretty nice, pretty nice. I do not have RTK running yet. Don't have the base station up or anything. That's another story. But anyway, this is looking good. Okay. So hardware-wise and all, I think we're back to where we used to be at least. At least it is operating. bad back on the first you know when I first started it uh, I'm sure a lot of things hadn't settled down and uh, but it was terrible it was awful uh, I had
had trouble keeping it tracking straight because I would put it, I just put it in manual. It seemed like it had a magnet to my trees. I have some oak trees on the far side over there. It just seemed like every time it got near a tree, it decided to go straight for it, even though it should have been uh, five or six feet away. But anyway, I guess it's gonna, I think it's gonna do the job and that's what I need right now. And I'll work on GPS y'all soon. believe a good heading is important. There's your example. Before I started On cutting, LVAHRS. I had performed a compass learn function, but I didn't have the blades turning, and I knew I should have. I guess I, I, I just On so long AHRS. since I dealt with it. I uh, forgot about that, but it makes a huge difference. That fixed the problem with, at least I think it did, uh, with it tracking pretty well. It's unhealthy not, AHRS. Not doing crazy stuff. I need to turn off the speaking. It's got the unhealthy AHRS, but that, it still mows grass, and uh, that's going to get me by until I can do better. Unhealthy AHRS. Okay, so uh, I'm now ready to try to get, uh, as you can see from that video, heading is a problem on a, on a rover like this with a lot of metal and moving parts. So I'm anxious to get GPS y'all working. Uh, so um, I, you know, got a video, couple of videos coming up. Uh, I've already shot some of them where I'm just trying to learn how the y'all, uh, how the uh, moving base works with U blocks F9Ps, and maybe that'll help somebody else along the way. But anyway, so look, uh, look for that coming up really soon. Thank you so much.